Hey everyone, this is Nona again from TheAlliantLover.com. Today I have another casual outfit idea video and we are looking at flamboyant naturals today. Before we get into that, I just want to remind you that if you want to stay up to date on my videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you are interested in some of my services, you can check them out on TheAlliantLover.com. So let's get into all of these casual outfit ideas for the beautiful flamboyant natural. So the flamboyant natural is the broadest of all the KBIDs. They're vertically long, they have the broadest body types, the shoulders, the torso, they have the most musculature. They are perfect canvases for bold, sweeping, oversized, but soft-edged garments of clothing and the energy that so many flamboyant naturals carry with them is this free spirit chic this sense of refined relaxed open warm style that is never really severe <clears throat> it's never too dainty it's never really too pretentious or you know overly made up it's more natural they are naturals after all so to really match that kind of energy let's look at a few bohemian styles and then we'll shift more into simpler streamlines more modern styles and when i say bohemian i mean the larger type of bohemian not the very intricate macrame lace high neck kind of bohemian that people often base their weddings off of this is more of the hippie bohemian um so let's look at a few examples so here we have a few outfits that have a good amount of relaxed sweeping of the fabric they all have soft edges there's no sharp, severe, overly tailored lines in any of these outfits. Um, there's a good amount of excess fabric and you really want to embrace excess fabric as a flamboyant natural. I have worked with a lot of flamboyant naturals who really want to squeeze their beautiful, broad, strong bodies into these very confining articles of clothing that don't give them the freedom that their body deserves. Um, like I said, flamboyant naturals are great with these beautiful, sweeping, large, bold strokes because they have enough width and strength that they can really showcase the flow of fabric beautifully without being overwhelmed. And you really, really want to make sure that you're giving yourself enough flow as a flamboyant natural. And flow doesn't mean that you'll get lost in your clothing. You naturally have enough structure that clothing really tends to mold to you more than the other way around. And you can always tuck in your clothing. You can always use nice belts, big chunky belts. Um, you can do side knots. You can always add a little bit of structure, but you already have so much that you don't need to make that the you know, priority of your outfit creation. You look great with unstructured stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, also make sure that your details are bigger. You don't wanna use little tiny, dainty, ornate, petite little details that are better suited for someone much more small, much more yin. Get big, get bold. Um, and you look great in more natural types of fabrics. Think linens, cottons, silks, um, wools. You don't really want to wear anything that looks too artificial, a little too, you know, pristine, high fashion, artificially manufactured. You know, those are a bit more avant-garde material that work on other types but for you keep it natural you're a natural so that being said you can also do asymmetry really well even if your top isn't necessarily asymmetrical like with a middle picture um, this is just a sweater with broad neckline that you can just you know push over to the side and then you can tuck it in and you have voila a asymmetrical neckline that just looks beautiful on your shoulders show off those beautiful shoulders. So 
So going into outfits that are a little less bohemian and still casual, we can translate those same lines, that same relaxation into clean items, clean necklines, no clutter. Um, you want to keep it simple. You want to keep it flowy still, like the black blouse on the left. It's clean. You know, it does have some detail on the sleeves, but it's mainly composed of sweeping broad lines that are very vertical. Um, in the middle, very clean t-shirt. Looks beautiful on her broad shoulders. And in the last picture, we have a chunkier oversized jacket, but it still has very soft edges. It's very clean. And for bottoms, you really want to invest in comfortable jeans or trousers that do skim your waist mid to high rise. Um, you want one that you can tuck stuff into or at least knot things over so that you can create these beautiful sweeps of fabric. Um, and flamboyant naturals can get away with looser fits, more relaxed fits and colors. You can really pull off distressed looks, worn in looks, um, looks that would make other types seem a little bit sloppy, but on you, it just looks cool, like you. So getting into more structured kinds of outfits, we have these three different pictures that all feature culottes. I feel like culottes, especially these, are that perfect mix of soft tailoring and broad, relaxed sweeps, broad strokes. Um, get the high waist or mid waist so that you can really create beautiful flows with the blouse, tuck them in, um, get that beautiful draping effect. Um, you're tall enough so that you can go wide if you would like to, go as wide as you want. Um, they're perfect for showing off very casual, earthy, natural friendly shoes like sneakers or strappy sandals or these very natural looking mules. And if you look at all of these blouses, they're clean. Yes, they have some detail, but they're horizontal or they're vertical. And the sleeves are cut in a very uncluttered way. Um, and you have a good amount of drapiness and excess fabric. It just looks really, really fresh. So getting into a bit more intricate of a look or a bit more dressed up for casual, you can get away with a lot of layering, like with this first photo to the left, big details, lots of layering, lots of fabric, but still you can knot it, you can knot scarves around yourself, you can pile on jackets, and you'll still look really cool. You won't look overwhelmed because you're magical, flamboyant, natural. Um, in the middle, this is a little bit more crisp of a denim, but it still has, you know, that roominess. They're not overly clingy. Um, they're darker wash. They still have the little bit of, you know, distressed look along the front pockets. And this beautiful blouse has enough drapiness. And, you know, she can really pull off the handkerchief. It's great for flame white naturals, especially in big, bold prints. And then to the very right, we have a clean, crisp blouse, but it still has soft edges. It still has that drapiness, and it still has that beautiful, strong vertical emphasis with the deep V and the trousers, of course. Um, and this one features a very natural, friendly belt. It's a it's not quite chunky, but it's definitely on the bigger side. It's not a dainty little belt with too many details. It's clean. And lastly, for some inspiration, if you really want to be obsessed with someone like I am, um, you can go ahead and look at many of Violet Afar's outfits and her makeup and her hair. She is the epitome of relaxed, free-spirited refinement. Um, I'm obsessed with her. She's just an artist. And if you really want to be very inspired in a practical way. She has an amazing YouTube channel and all of her outfits are really down to earth. There's nothing, you know, overly 
um, high fashion about the way she dresses usually, even though she works in a lot of high fashion um, domains, she still is very fresh and down to earth in her choices. So check her out. She's totally amazing. So I hope this video gave you some ideas. Um, let me know what you think and let me know which type you want to see next. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.